Oh, what's up, everybody? Love and crafty. Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate you, buddy. Primaris Powerhouse, you as well. We are drafting some Vintage Cube. I have not done this iteration of Vintage Cube yet. Undreamt Tuna. Long time no see. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, so I don't know what the changes are in here. But uh, looks like we're going to see any second now. Waiting for the next booster pack. That's the first booster pack. One super tasty 100 vintage buck. That's that's something. Okay, so automatically we have uh, Omneth and Scavenger and Thieving Skydiver that are new. Thieving Skydiver is great. Both of these are, are cards that I'm actually going to add to my own cube. Skydiver and Nighthawk. Um, that being said, Omnath is a little ambitious. Uh, I'm also going to take Mox Jet because, come on, let's be real. Undrum Tuna, I totally understand. Um, oh, I like these new. Oh, these are nice. These are juicy. Is it just Simic Signet? Do we take Mox Jet into Simic Signet? Is that like the perfect vintage Q start for us guys? I, I, my only hope is that they uh, is that they replaced Nighthawk with Nighthawk, right? Like I, I'd rather, I hope they replace Vampire Nighthawk with Nighthawk Scavenger, or Scavenger Nighthawk, whatever it is. Yeah, I think it is bribery. Um, yeah, we're just gonna be bribery, bribering. Oh, Jace, a mirror mage. <clears throat> this is interesting. Uh, okay, we can make the text tinier, I guess. Uh, it's a three mana Jace or a five mana Jace. When it enters the battlefield, if Jace was kicked, to create a token, that's a copy of it, right? And then so with one of them, you want to scry and the other one you want to draw. I think we're definitely trying this. Our first pick's bribery. So like, I mean, considering you have Mox Jet and we kind of want to stay in black. I had a big headache yesterday, and it was pretty unfortunate. So I definitely know the feeling there, my dude. Um, probably Mana Leak. I think Duress is very, very good in the Vintage Cube because so many so many plans revolve around like cards like Ribery. That being said, Mana Leak also does a similar thing, and it counters creatures. So we are very clearly blue here. Metalworker is late. Celestial Colonnade is interesting. Lutero Core, interesting. Like, no black card, so Mox Jet's not looking great here, but Colonnade might be fine. I also love this Council's Judgment, and I love the Council's Judgment art, so. I think we're just going to go with Colonnade here. We could also just go with Looter. Yeah, let's just go with Looter. I think Looter's a pretty powerful card. It helps you hit combo pieces. It helps you discard things. Okay, so we could have taken Council's Judgment and now take Elspeth and be Blue White Cheons. Could take Trinket Mage, it does find our Mox Jet. We unintentionally got another cat. <laughs> uh, oops, all cats. Oh boy. Um.
Damnation could be fine. I'm just going to take the Bayou and keep myself open. <laughs> yeah, that seems fine. I'm going to have a Mox Jet, so... Sakurai Worm. Shatter Skull Smashing. Regrowth. Dragon Lord Tarka Shriek Maw. It's probably just Shriek Maw. <laughs> Sashimi, Nigiri, and Umami. Well, now your, now your Instagram cat profile is uh, it's just less accurate now. I mean, we have two fixing cards for black. I'm just going to take a black card. I think, the, I think Shatter Skull Smashing or Fire Ice might be better, but I'm pretty I'm taking Masquerum, actually. Masquerum just wins games sometimes. Oh, uh, Phantasmal Image. Cultivate's also not bad, but I don't see us having to be green. Just oh, Overgrown Tomb. Okay, well now they're just now they're just making it so we're we're Sultai. I'm surprised the Simic Signet didn't come back. Missing Quagmire. All right. I mean, they're they're very much fixing us for blue for black green here. So. Can you change your Instagram usernames, or do you have to just make a new account? Ghost Rider. It's a playable. It's a playable guy. Interesting. Thank you. Oh, Pilot Eater Man, thank you so much for saying so. I think we can all use a little day brightening right about now. I mean, to be fair, uh, things are looking okay. I'm just taking Prime Speaker. But, you know. Fool me once. Carol Keep. Gadok Teague. I love the podcast about the Marvel cards you and Mike had me rolling. Nice. Glad to hear it, man. I had a good time doing that. That was actually a really fun one that I would not mind doing again. And Burst Lightning. Okay, they're giving us a lot of red cards. This is a seven cards, but like four fixing cards too, so not terrible. Sort of Bonnie Mind. Okay, well, we're just taking a leave old now. Oh, God, but Primeval Titan and Fallen Shinobi. Siege Gang Lieutenant. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, man. What are you guys saying right now? Lactose intolerant? <laughs> 
Sometimes the poops, dude. I couldn't even imagine being. Oh god. We do have. We do have. We do have looter for Shinobi. Yeah, I'm just taking Shinobi. Yeah, check knows what's up. Oh, Sylvan Care. Oh, Demir Signet. Oh man, we have so much green fixing that I kind of want to just like get into the green, but like we don't really necessarily have to. I'm just taking the Demir Signet. I think this is any color fixing. It combo. It's good with Woe Strider. I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it combos with Woe Strider, but it's good with Woe Strider. It fixes any color, which is very, very nice. It protects Jace. I think Sylvan Karyat is probably the better pick here, especially for trying to, to leave old. And by that, I mean if we're trying to leave old, then we're already, we're already choosing green, so. Snapcaster Mage. We have Mana Leak so far, and that's pretty much it. Cabal Ritual. When they changed, the, they changed all of the arts. They're like, let's go crazy. I like Rex Age here, actually. I like Snapcaster. Oh, actually, we have Bribery. I'm gonna take the Snapcaster Age. Oh man, the Nondare man. Can you give me some Nondare so I don't have to like feel worse than I do now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bribery snap bribery was definitely a consideration. Don't waste another minute on your crying. Probably just ponder here. None of these green cards are great, and Kozlek is cool, but probably not realistic. Ponder's nice. Also, we have Snapcaster, so it gets even better. Realistically, I have no idea how that song got stuck in my head right now. Absolutely no idea. Brazen Bar was nice. Arid Mesa doesn't find anything. Fast Bond doesn't do much. Yeah, I think we're just taking the Brazen Bar, especially again because of Fallen Shinobi. So that's just a solid. Because if you don't get it stuck in my head weekly, you are failing as a streamer. It's just nature now. That's fair. Chrome Mox. I wouldn't even recognize this. That's wild looking. Uh, Dismember, Brutality, Mind's Desire. Exhume. I think it's just Brutality here, right? I, I don't actually, Kurt, I don't actually know that song that you're singing right now. Leviathan, what are you doing with your life? It could just be Bone Shredder. Inkwell Leviathan's more exciting if we have like a reanimate spell. Or a Tinker. 
This keeps us open for more combo applications. I'm going to take that guy. Frost Titan's just a solid dude. Wooded Foothills finds Bayou and Overgrown Tomb, surprisingly. Does not find a blue source yet. I think I just like Frost Titan better. Steam Vents. Eh, I'll take a Repeal. Repeal could be fine. And it's a late Steam Vents, though. Actually, discarding a an inkwell or a massacre room and then like makeshift mannequin it could be good. We've been providing election updates. No, unfortunately, no. I will be checking them. But oh god, Leovold didn't come back. That's so that's so friggin' sad. Actually, I'm taking mannequin here because massacre room and uh, inkwell are both really good targets. And we have Collector Brutality and Looter to discard them already. Okay, well that's an un unimpressive pack. I'll just take Sea Chrome Coast, I guess. Yogg Moss Barg... Uh, I'll take Rotting Registrar. Yep. Exhum? Sure. Our deck's looking... F Fairly fair right now. We have one green card that we actually care about. Along with three three sources of green fixing. And uh, Mox Ruby. Fascinating. Mystic Confluence as well. Polluted Delta as well. This pack is stacked. I mean, we gotta take Mox Ruby, right? Let's not be stupid. He needs Confluence over Ruby? Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I look at it like this. When you have a, a Mox that's off color, would you still take it if it said tapped out of colorless for zero mana? I think the answer is yes a lot of times. I think there's certain decks that might not be able to, but I don't think we're one of them. Monkey Knife Fight. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Uh, Rakdos Signet seems fine. Vraska Golgari Queen is kind of meh. Time Warp seems f pretty nice. Karn Liberated seems decent. I like Karn Liberated and I like Time Warp here. I think it's, I think it's Time Warp. Especially with Snapcaster. Wow, Grimmauld Life and a Euro and a Null Priest of Oblivion. I like this pack a lot. Hmm. I mean, I think it's Grimmauld Life. Let's you go turn three six drops. Like I think it's Grim. I think Grim is better than the other two. I mean, I like a Baleful Strix. I have no problem with that. Oracle of Moldiah is also pretty good. The awkward thing is, like, if we don't play the green, like, we actually have no blue-black fixing. <laughs> so, like, I'm kind of just, like, splash for the carry added. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking Baleful over Oracle. Something that I don't even, I'm like, what is this? Oh. Yeah, we're taking Murder Shrider. I think Hero's Downfall is, is good on its own. I think Murderous Rider is just a... I'll take a Golos, actually. We have Seachrome Coast, a Mox Ruby, and an Overgrown. Yeah, let's take Golos.
told you. It's a late volcanic island. To go along with our late Mox Ruby. It's also just a card we can take to fix for red with Golos. Bob the Sheep, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. I like Chupacabra. Thousand Year Storm. We're taking Toxic Deluge, unfortunately. Carwood, I love you, buddy. This is not a Thousand Year Storm deck. I didn't know Cheesecake had articulation. It do. Was a, is there more cards or I don't think we could have done it to be honest with you Rakdos Signet that's pretty decent Take on barrel rights, I guess. The Ragtus came back. Casualties of War might be playable. That's fascinating. Cretch Jr. What up, my dude? Welcome back. Thank you for the two months. Two, almost two years. 22 months. Really appreciate you, buddy.
Okay. This is 24 cards. Sylvan Carry added probably. I don't actually think Sylvan Carry is that greedy when we have. It might be actually. We're probably not playing that many. Yeah, you can go. I mean, these are because these are all basically black lands, right? This is just Golos mana. Have Inkwell Leviathan plan? I don't think so, right? Collective Brutality. Looter to discard. Is Mike B alive? Mike B is alive, yes. I mean, I just don't see us, like, we only have, we only have Makeshift Mannequin to, like, reanimate. We also have Exhum, but I really don't want to be Exhuming when we're not a dedicated. I think it's just, I think the deck looks good like this, and we can actually just, uh... Yeah, let's just do it like this. So we only have, like, it's nice because we only have, like, black and blue cards here, so... These are black lands. And... These are blue sources, so we're going to definitely need more blue sources here. Uh, five, six, seven, five, ten. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, eight? Yeah, nine, eight seems good. Not a single blue black source, though. Seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that seems good. I like that. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, this is living the dream, right? Keep. Oh, boy. This is this is vintage cube as it's meant to be played. Cast. Cast. It's not a turn two, Shinobi. Unfortunately. Because we don't have four mana, we're only going to have three, and we can't have blue-black. I mean, the question is, do we Grim Monolith or Looter? And I think we Looter. Because if we draw, if we draw Mox, like, it, it, it's definitely a turn two, and that'd be cool. It's still very good. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that seems fine. I mean, Nordic, these are essentially black sources, right? So, big tubes, spend and jays. Dun, 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 dun. Sure, you got it. Uh, 
Okay, so now we actually have lots of things to do next turn. Sure. This is all fine. Wow. Okay. They are going ham here. Pretty decent. Let's get a red. And I guess we're passing here. <laughs> they have a million mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have nine. Pretty good. I mean, you do need a white source. They have 10 mana now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, that's a little scary. Kozlik? Ulmog. <laughs> yep, yeah, seems good. For some reason, I thought Golas got two lands. Had I remembered he only got one, I would have gotten Sea Chrome Coast because it would come into play untapped. I'm killing this guy because I want to hit. <laughs> Give me them hits. Ooh, Gilded Lotus and Oblivion? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to get rid of Grim Monolith because it gives them the most potential mana. Sure, that doesn't okay <laughs> oh boy all right well this game feels over Yeah, I mean, I don't think we warded anything here. I wish we had some more artifact removal, more than zero. You don't beat the Shinobi, the Shinobi beats you. I'll just keep this hand. I mean, second turn mana, mana leak or monolith is pretty good. Mox. Daddy needs a mox. Do do do. He didn't get one. How's your election extra from red level? It's it's been high. Today was a little lower, but.
I think I'm just keeping Mana Leak up here. I can't see a reason to like... This feels fine. Like, she's just a Planeswalker. We have a Murderous Rider, but... Oh, uh, their deck kind of looked all over the place, so... Okie dokie. It's <laughs> good to know. Well, that's kind of annoying. Oh, you're going to do something. Why? Why do it on my turn? That's so weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw a pro do it on the opponent's turn once, and I was like, that seems like a good play. It's such a weird, like, it's just a, it's just a non-decision. Like, if I have a counter spell, like, you're giving me an extra mana to use it, which is literally better than not using it, like... I don't think we have actually what to deal with Winter Orb. I think we're just playing a slow ass game now, which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> like one card in hand. <sighs> yep, just gonna keep passing here. Well, this is fascinating. Oh, you're just going to Rakdos return me. Walking Ballista? Well, that's surprisingly not impressive. I mean, that's a dude. Sure. Boy, 
this game is going to be grindy and boring. If you're playing Winter Arbor in your deck and you don't have a way to exploit it, you're just like kind of a terrible person. <laughs> Okay, see, that's going to be nice, the Phantasmal Image. That's fascinating. So I'm either tempted to Phantasm Image here, they're only going to get one, two, three lands next turn. I don't remember, yeah, Michael never actually had a Meatball, ma meatball Mayo sub, so I suppose no is the answer. It's either Phantasm Lord or keep up or just Murderous Rider next turn. Biden has not officially won yet. He's at 264. If he wins Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, or Pennsylvania, he wins. He's ahead in Nevada. And should stay ahead. And he's <laughs> likely going to win either Georgia or uh, Pennsylvania once all the votes are counted. But... As usual, there's been a lot of reports of Trump supporters actively armed and uh, assaulting polling centers in Georgia right now, in Marip Mar Maricopa County. So that's cool. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. It's either Phantasm. I think we're just Phantasm. It doesn't, just doesn't get through is the problem. Like... Is a Golos good enough? Is one Golos good enough? They're not finished counting, but a lot of times you can just tell, like, okay, there's no there's no amount of votes you can get here that would actually push you ahead. So, um, 16 to 18, we're up a game. I think I wait a turn. It just doesn't do anything here. Golos just doesn't do anything for us here. Hyper of Alexandria. Solid. I like it. And we're just going to crack this guy here. 
kind of like Baleful Strix. So now we're on a, what, six turn clock? Oh boy. That's exciting. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Eight mana now. Four, five, that's a lot. <laughs> sure. I'll keep that on top. Uh, Winter Orb is a super fun card. I mean, we like to take four here, chump block. Attack for three, four, five, six. Uh, we can actually quadruple block this guy and trade. Eh, it doesn't seem great though. Because next time we're just going to play Baleful Strix. Island was on top, right? Sure. to know. Interesting. But it was not a fun card. Nobody was having fun. In the most fun format there is. That guy was a turd. Yeah, it sounds it sounds pretty spot. Wow. This is a on top of land. It'll be an island. I don't even want to play that because of mana. It's just like, you really have to prioritize your mana. You're like, what's the best thing I can do with my mana? And the answer is 
not spend it on a ponder. Wow, you wasted your whole, all your mana for that. We also could have been scrying. Uh, I think I F6 and then. Okay. <laughs> An eloquent solution. Modern problems require modern solutions. Toxic deluge is interesting. Pretty sure we're just passing here. Like, we have Fallen Shinobi and Bribery going up, so... actually not super exciting. I mean, it does stop the old Baleful Strix into Fallen Shinobi, unfortunately. But... This, is, this dude puts ice in his milk. Land. Land me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Here's a land for you. We have 12 cards in the library, so... Show cartoons instead. Not a bad idea, buddy. Not a bad idea. Might as well make it this one. Oh, makeshift mannequin is interesting. I guess we're just going to bribery here. What's the worst that could happen, he said? They have no creatures left. Elves of Deep Shadow. Okay, so now they have Elspeth Sun's Champion, Course of Portal, Boros Signa Assassin's Trophy. Okay, so they just have mono artifacts. Deck. Okay. Well, now we're back to square one. That's unfortunate. Pretty sure we just don't have a card to beat Winter Orb, which is our own fault. Like, we could have taken Rex Sage over Snapcaster, and Snapcaster's not doing much here, so. Okay, Boros Signet down. That was their draw.
So three mana. Good deluge here. I don't know how we're going to deal with their Elspeth. And their Teferi kind of just prevents them from losing. Which is kind of awkward. Well, we can't cast Murderous Rider. We don't have double black untapped. I think we're just passing. I mean, I feel like it's just Toxic Deluge, actually. Like, their draws kind of suck, and, like, these guys are actually just going to kill us in, like, two turns, so. Ugin was the card in your hand? Yeah, sure, you got it. <laughs> this is just terrible. What a miserable fucking game. <laughs> oh, God. And I think we're just bringing Casualties of War in because it kills an artifact. Add one one of these bad boys. I mean, Inkwell Leviathan, they can kill with their six mana Elspeth. But that's pretty much it. But like, how do we get it into play? On burial rights? Eh. Actually, Repeal does get rid of... Yeah, that's actually not bad for a Winter Orb. I mean, we have no real efficient way to cast this guy other than having 8 mana. I'd much rather have 6 mana and get rid of it that way. I think that's more reasonable. I don't know if we're a Deluge matchup here. They only have... Uh, Amir Battlesphere, so... Yeah, okay, this hand's good. I think. Okay, we're just going to play Monolith here so we can Frost Titan next turn. Presumably. During your upkeep, I'll crack my fetch completely arbitrarily. And now you're going to Ancient Grudge my Grim Monolith. Assassin's Trophy my Grim Monolith. Uh, sure. Oh, fascinating. Give me that mana leak one time. Okay, I'll take that. Oh boy. 
If we get to go this into this, I'm gonna be uh, quite satisfied. You got it. Oh, you're gonna use it this turn. You're gonna walking blister for two. Of course you are. Sounds good. Well, that's unfortunate. G guards, thanks so much for the for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Sure, you got it. I'm just casting this. Like, sure. Next time we get to casualties, like land grim monolith, land grim monolith goose. Sure. <laughs> Creature artifact land. Sounds good. So we are going to get a hit with this. That's pretty sick. Okay. Destroy an artifact, a creature, and a land. Destroy a target artifact. This guy. Destroy a creature. This guy. Land. This guy. I mean, hitting with Shinobi here when they have, like, Things like Ugin in their deck seems just better than. Um, yeah, you got it. Then like playing Frost Titan. Tempted to just play Mox Diamond, discard the island. Yeah. Can't really. Not a great hit. <laughs> they have two cards in hand. They have four mana. I don't think. I don't think we're really super scared here. Oh yeah, if they do have Winter Orb though, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, that seems great. Plus, like we have enough mana that I don't actually give a shit if they kill it because that's fine. <laughs> we get to EOT bounce this too, which is pretty sweet. Or we can bounce their goose. Yeah, that's also good. Jeez. Nah, I mean, we're just attacking. They can't untap their, their Grim Monolith, so that's fine. I'd much rather untap their Winter Orb, or tap their Winter Orb. Bounce the runner, that's what we're saying here. And then, uh. Did he make a food with the goose? Interesting. Fallen Shinobi. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we got a free course of portal. O ring, you're a tiny idiot. Course of portal for free. Your turn. Fallen Shinobi is a hell of a magic card. Just another manic Monday. Whoa, whoa. All right, well. 
One down. Ooh, keep this. This is a snapper. I get to leave with this sick ass sea chrome coast. They about to get no bead. <laughs> they did get no bead. You ain't even kidding. And now we're just keeping out Mana Leak. Wait, what? They discarded Progenitus and shuffled it back in? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, e, uh, um, I am not. N nope, don't get it. Did they. What the fuck? I mean, if it was like, if they were trying to, like, reanimate, they're like, oh, we got an exhume or something, we're gonna play it on, do we got reanimate? Like, I'd be like, alright, cool. But, like, Progenitus gets shoveled back in, so... I don't get it. I don't know what's happening right now. We did need to hit a land, though, so... We did it! Let's just look at their hand. And see what's going on. <laughs> natural order okay okay uh why are you not playing lands what's going on wait what the fuck oh they wait why did they not play a land or this other elvish mystic what is happening right now Oh, yeah, they discarded the Progenitus so it would go back into the deck. That's clever. But that just doesn't explain why Elvish Mystic wasn't... Oh, because we bounced it. I'm an idiot. Okay, it's all making sense now. The only misplay, if you can call it that, would have been the... Okay. I'm, I'm much more clear on things now. I mean, I'm going to take it, but I'm much more clear about it about the progenitus play just another progenitus monday what do we got here oh we can just look at the whole deck all right that's satisfying i mean is it kozilek or progenitus here guys what's the pick this is also very nice of them to not concede in response <laughs> Kozilek has Annihilator 4. I mean, Progenitus is just Progenitus, right? Okay. You got it. Could have also just taken Primeval Titan for the lulls. Oh man, skipping your first turn to put Progenitus back in your deck. That's kind of funny. Okay. Okay. They're like, you know what? I'll give it one more turn. Okay, the turn didn't work out. I mean, thankfully we have Toxic Deluge, which is pretty sweet against the Genitus. The big Gen. Jenny Genitus. I mean, it's not pretty sweet. You still take 10, but like, it gets rid of it, right? And that's the, that's the important thing. I'm going to keep this despite not having any blue because it's still three mana. And any blue source lets us play this guy, this guy, and this guy. So we're going to just draw a blue source off the top. And it's going to feel... It's going to be Volcanic Island. It's Baleful. Baleful Strix. This doesn't let us play anything, so we're just going to hold it for now. No reason to stick it out there and get, like, Rex Aged or something. Okay. 
Well, Vintage Cube doing what it do. I mean, let's see if they got Kozilek, I guess. They do. I mean, if we draw a blue source, we can bounce it with Brazen Barber. One time. Oh, God. We can also just kill it with... Oh, we can just kill it. Huh. Hmm. So now we got questions. Do we murderous rider this idiot? Put it or put it back in their hand. Uh, to be fair, there are no green cards here. There is a bayou that can produce green mana. But we have no green cards, my good sir. Huh. The volcanic island was later than I expected it to be. I kind of just want to repeal the signet. Like, they're not doing anything here. <laughs> One thousand apologies, my good man. Um... Plus, like, the sooner we can get through our deck to, like, a bribery or something. I don't know why I played this all of a sudden now. Let's just pretend I didn't. Still got it in hand. This is all fine, yeah. I think it's just Looter and then Murderous Rider here. Like, I want to keep them off of both Natural Order and Mystic in the same... And, uh... Having a guy out. One, two, three... So, I mean, if they have six mana, they have to have two drop and natural order. In which case, like, that's fine. You can't really, can't really do anything about that. Or Primeval Titan. Yep, that is a dude. Bribery. Land. So here's the thing, we could Baleful Strix. It does give us a chance to hit. Um, Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack here. Ponder. Okay, don't hate that. Okay, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep it like this, I think. No shuffs, play mocks, play quag. Yep. 
So one, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana, so we can fall on Shinobi. Still play one of these two. Well, just this one, I guess. Nine mana? Six, seven, eight, nine? Sure. Well, blue sources are gone. To the surprise of no one. That sucks. Frost Titan is not a great draw now. <laughs> Yep, it's pretty bad. We got makeshift mannequin here. Um, hmm. kind of like that. tap down a land six seven eight nine so that they don't actually have we might as well do it on their like upkeep right because then but they're tapped out i don't know if their blue is for um i don't know if their blue is for counter spells so like i'll just get frosty down That seems fine, right? No shuffs, play mocks, play quag. <laughs> what is that child saying? Yeah, so now they only have six, seven, eight mana. So if they play land, they still can't play Kozilek, which we know is in their hand. Fascinating. That doesn't. That actually isn't terrible for us here. Okay. They're going to pay two anyway? That doesn't do anything. What? Why did you do that? Oh, I got real excited about playing Frawl and Shinobi next turn, but then I realized we don't still don't have a blue source. We've only drawn two this game, though, so fingers crossed, right, guys? One time. Oh, fucking double blue card, of course. Of course it would be a double blue card. Why would you not? Oh, we should have went face, actually. I totally forgot that this doesn't trigger when you go go face. Yep, that was not my best. Uh... Yep, now they're just going to play Kozilek, draw four more cards. Turns out channel into Kozilek, even if it doesn't stick around, is pretty good. Yep, here we go. Thankfully, none of these humongous creatures have reach, because that would be super weird. Blue source one time. All right. Did they not activate? Co they didn't just, just didn't activate Oko. Oh, they made this guy sure. Okay, I guess they did activate Oko. Um. Sure.
Yep, cool. So. That's fun. Oh, how fun. <laughs> um. We have a volcanic mox, Rakdos, and Golos if we want to bring in burst lightning. I'm just gonna submit. I think our deck is good. Yeah, I'll keep the sand. Cause that's my fun day. I mean, there's a lot of lands for a vintage cube hand. Is Burst Lightning too strong for a Storark? I don't think so at all. Every fucking game. Wow, you just always have Channel Kozilek in your opening hand, huh? Seems good. I mean, what are you hoping for, like, Brazen Barber slash Murderous Rider? In the first, in the top, like, two cards? Ravenous Chupacabra. Rakdos Signet. You do not do it. You can't sack yourself, right? Nope. Nope, you cannot. Come on, Choops is right. Come on, Brazen Barber. Come on, Murderous Rider. One time, one time, Daddy needs it. <laughs> nope, that don't do it. All right, good times. One, two, three, four. So we take 12 and lose our whole board? Okie dokie. Must be nice. Let me guess, next card would have done it. Yeah. I think Burst Lightning is definitely up there for the second or third best 1R instant. Actually, I think it's the second best instant. Maybe we'll keep this. Sure. Yeah, behind Bolt. I was also thinking Chain Lightning, but that's a sorcery, so that's a totally different school. I'm pretty sure Chain Lightning is, uh... Oh, good. Green seems super boring. Wah, wah. I mean, Toxic Daily sure is pretty good. If they try any bullshit, we're just gonna... Just gonna cut them down. Give me a... I, I, there's, no, there's no combination of draws that actually let us play Fallen Shinobi here, unfortunately. <laughs> That's actually fascinating with a Massacre... With a thing in hand would 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 love a land or a mana source then seems seems good yep this is how we go out 
They drew a forest. They played it. Green sun. Got it. Mm-hmm. Always a pleasure. Land? I guess you're kind of like a land in a sense. Okay, now they got forest on top. I'm sure they play that. Green sun for acidic slime. Yeah. Heaven forbid I had fucking lands. That would be too much to ask for, I guess. <laughs> okay. I mean, in the perfect world, we're going to be able to massacre him for two here. Land? Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Um, let's get rid of Golos here. Got two of the five cards in their hand. Oh, come, come at me, bro. Deal. Oh, wow, that comes into play untapped. That's pretty wild. So we know we're hitting this. So we're getting three mana automatically. Hmm. Five, six, seven. I mean, like, I kind of just want to choopers this guy, right? Yeah, I think we're just choopsing. The murderous rider seems good too. I think we're gonna we're at eight, so toxic deluge can go play this. One, two, three, four. Chuparino. So they draw Monolith and Forest. So we're going to have Sylvan Carry added. And Green Sun and Basalt in hand. So we know three of like their five cards. For seven. You got it. Uh huh. That's interesting. We cannot snap Crater Hoof, unfortunately. We can snap Deluge and absolutely just fucking murder them. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Massacre Arm's a hell of a drug. That's a card, all right. That is a card. You got Gobba Gould. <laughs> Suck on that Gobba I don't think anything, I, like again, I just don't think anything on our sideboard is really doing it for us. Uh, yes. Snap it off. This is a hand. Do you want to give me a mox here? You don't? Rude. Green sun for one. Well, that guy's not really exciting. Yeah, we're just gonna give them one turn and then we're gonna Grim Monolith for bribe. We're gonna bribery here. Yeah, that's. That's a Gabagool. Oh, we're overpaying, aren't we? Three. Four. Brabario. Um. So it looks like they have Avenger in hand. So that's fascinating. Acidic Slime. It might just be Acidic Slime here. Gets rid of this thing. This is actually not a very impressive configuration. Interesting. I mean, Plow Under sucks. Uh, Nissa sucks and Ugin suck. Those are the rough ones. Crater Hoof's in the deck still. Yeah, I'm just going to get Acidic Slime and kill your Basalt Monolith. Not the best. I definitely expected more from our... Thing. Thank you. Oh my god, Badger, what up? Sick of you, please. You're one of, like, my most staunch supporters, my dude. Oh, we're just going to win the game. Alright, that'll do, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. 2-1 in our first Vintage Cube this go-round. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com. If you want a sick deal on a Magic Online subscription service, you can use the promo code and the link below to get 15% off. First three months of any subscription. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.